You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Alright guys, we are back. Back in Hogwarts. Um, ready to do some missions? I think uh, we are going to talk to... Talk to Poppy. Right? Where's she at? What is this? Poppy. Yeah. How's your weekend going? Good, I hope. To do something fun. To get outside. To stay inside. What games you play? No, let me know. What y'all been up to? Catch. Parkour! Parkour! Alright, I guess we'll wait for Poppy. Oh good, you're safe. Oh, well, I am safe. Poppy! There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Snidget? Uh... Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Did I you find it? I think you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs- Yes! The Jade want the Snidgets protected at all costs. An army of centaurs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the Centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Mm, okay. Right. You do that. Let's go talk to Maddie then. Wherever she may be. Out of Hogsmeade. Is there any floofs nearby? No? No, no. I bet you there's a floof. Right at the entrance, right? No? Okay, whatever. I could swear there was one at the entrance. Did I miss one at the at the bridge?
This hurt. Jump! Uh, the burn up. Swim! Trudge! Walk! There we go. I guess where there was one right, like right here. Field guide? I thought there was a floof right there. Alright. Whatever. Away from Nabi. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Okay. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Ooh, forbidden. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibel, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. He has like my app, by the way. Wow! I picked that up recently, you know. Thought it, it maybe it made me look like a, a detective, you know, since all of the detecting that I'm doing around here, detecting Ranrock, de detecting the uh, poachers, all that good stuff, you know. I just I feel like I need a monocle. Very well, I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. I want to see her change into her, uh, uh, gazelle. should be nearby. Yeah. Oh, cool place. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts. And my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. True. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, Them jerks. but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Oh, danger's my middle name. Mrs. Rub, we do uh, hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own. But we are beginning to lose our patience. 
We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us, if you understand our meaning. <laughs> Some evidence worth hanging on to. Uh -huh. Thank yeah. you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. No worries. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends. No worries, I will go detect. More detecting. This mystery. So this one first. Run, 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 run. People works at Gladrags. I should check. Please tell me you didn't take it, Mr. Dibble. May I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. Yeah. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort? I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised sneaky, me in sneaky. no certain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. <laughs> Let me just take uh, some money from you real quick. Right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. 
But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. I am detecting. See more is detecting. Detecting. Going to find Natty so we can do more detecting. Going to solve this crime. Going to solve this crime for all the innocent people involved. Danger is my middle name. See more is my name. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps oh. I'll find her there. Uh-oh, uh -oh, something happened. Something happened. That he must be around here somewhere. Right. Oh. That he's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not the home girl. You will all rot in hell if you did something to Natty. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> oh, what you say? What did you say? I will I will strike you down right now if you yeah, yeah, go through the wall. I don't know what the hell just happened to you, but you just walked through the wall. Yeah, you better leave. Oh am I looking am I looking for something in here or what? What am I looking at? What am I doing? Those steps didn't look like they went outside, right? Did they? Well, because they're heading back inside. Here are the steps. Yeah, they obviously go inside, right? Because it's purple in there, so I gotta find a clue, I guess. Alright. He must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Her footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Hmm. Accio. must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Indeed. But let me collect some money first. Because, you know, traveling like this is not cheap, man. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Plus, Natty's gonna, you know, be hungry after this. Lewis. So. Oh. Not seen, not seen. Okay. <clears throat> we may be 
working with the goblins for now, but soon they will be answering to us. Oh. Revenio. You're going to try to backstab the goblins that they're working with? Do I have to sneakity sneak or can I just whoop their butts? The tasks say find Natty, optional, find the book of poems, and find Otto Dibble's love letter. So. There's only four in here, right? Fuck it. Oh, boom! Ow. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you! Been a little cornered right now. Fuck you, dude. Fuck! Nope, nope, nope. Man, this dude's strong. That's right, bitch. Revelio. Nothing on Seymour. We got nothing on Seymour. Dude, fucking gear slots, man. Probably one of the more annoying things of of this game is uh, just your gear slots always filling up. I know you probably don't want to see me run through menus, but I just don't want to miss anything. Yeah, right, let's get out of there. Try this again. Identified. Rebellion. Hmm. 
nightcap. Better than what I have on, apparently, though. Revelio. Just a bunch of mice. Rats. Definitely miss stuff, right? You're as dear to me as an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are his love to me. Whatever. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. A flamboyant cloak. Mm -hmm. Revelio. Sounds fancy. What is that? Oh, monies. Money, 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 money. More monies lying around here that I missed. Apparently. Oh, bunch of heads. A Wigan Weld. Always nice to have some Wigan Welds. Rebellion. Definitely some chests and stuff up there. Whoa. My darling Otto, I have read your last letter, letter over and over and I'm certain, am certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. Rosie. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Oh. Why was that? Was I not paying attention? I don't, I don't know why he wanted me to do that. Okay. I think that's everything now. Wrong buttons, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Fat, fat fingering things. Revelio. Hello, Amora. Hold on. Gotta do all the important collecting first. Who is that, though? Oh. 
Well, what if I wanted to talk to Nettie first? She's the homegirl. I need to get her out first. Fine. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Okay. Easy enough. Yep, yeah, let's get Natty. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These ash winders must pay. Mm -hmm. You want your wand back? I have your wand. I know you can cast without it, but, you know, you're probably better with it, right? Of course there's going to be a fight. Why wouldn't there be a fight? Revelio. I look like I can blow that up some, or uh, light it on fire, rather. Okay, whatever. Go that way. No. Feel that it looks like something, right? Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Wow, she's just right there. That was fast. <laughs> Not I own I. I should have known, and you. The troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. She's under his thumb. Bet you. Harlow's got her wrapped around his finger. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. No. That's I. No, I can't. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon.
Okay. Uh, all right, Poppy. Let's see what you got. She got for me, girl. Okay. That's right, the centaurs. I hope I get a right, get to ride one and lead them into battle. Epic. It's so pretty. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. No way, no. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere there's something about them that's so knowing it's almost unnerving sure I, I don't know sure why not i suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience that's exactly the right word i just never mind what is it it's nothing truly i've We've no secrets to hide. What are you not telling me, puppy? We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- doing here humans please we were hoping to speak with you ah i suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back no never we're here because we need your help here you made a grave error in judgment in coming here little witch leave them be alec we do not harm the young. It is not our way. Oh, thank you, always. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Three? Three heads? What three heads are they talking about? Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Well, I've got plenty of moonstones. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. 
What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? <laughs> I trust him. Centaurs know things. Yeah, they know things. He was annoyingly cryptic. Yeah, that's my thing. Isn't, aren't those common? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Okay, sure, whatever. They know, know stuff. But I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Hmm. Okay. Racing moons. Alright, let's go talk to the mistress then. Map chamber. Uh, hobbit. Secret rooms. Map chamber. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Hmm. Okay. So that's the next thing. So we got moons. We can basically side quests until people notify me of stuff. So that'll be in the next day, right? Maybe I can find some of these files real quick. They're way out there. Although I forget to how to how to use my bag. And I wonder what this is. Obviously I can use it, right? It's like I can write it or something. Huh. your helm but thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions I don't know who's talking but I wonder 
that this matters. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. I dang it. I hit the Repair. wrong. Hit the wrong button. Fucking wrong button. I'm only trying to help. Shit, what is it? Here. For me. Sneakity sneak. And then I'll try to stop him. Then grab him. There. 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 Nice. What did I get though? Was it a male? Oh no, I got a female. Uh, they ran away. How do I know which one's a male? I mean, besides, you know. The obvious way of checking in a certain place. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Although, are those all female? This is just simply telling me where to go, right? Yeah. So somehow I have to figure out which one of these. Oh, the that's the male, right? Male, male symbol. Okay. Actually, that's pretty far away. Where is that? Where am I going here? It hogs me? Ten? Floof. It's floof. Tomes and scrolls, scrolls and tones. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. If I do anything, I'm gonna sell some crap. A pleasure doing business with you.
actually. Let me know if there's any. I hope I didn't just sell some crap that I got that was better. Word to wise, always check that before you sell. Wearing the best crap. Curse. This is only one up in offense, but I like how this is the increased damage to dealt uh, to curse targets. A... I did sell that thing already. Oh, the nightcap. There it is. I did not. It's locked from here. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, this spring pen for a thousand. Now we can hunt for a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Peace feeder. Toy box. really craft much stuff so this thing these things really don't matter to me let me know if there's anything else i can do to help nope that's it sir appreciate it let's go back and talk to deke in the secret rooms and the requirement I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Oh, it's gonna show me. I'm telling you, if I could have a room like this and it just like, boom, it's boom, things that I needed. Be awesome. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Sweet. Oh, wow, look at this. This little reading nook and stuff. This is cool. Man. Okay. Revelio. Kind of spooky.
things up there. This is cool, man. Imagine having access to this, like little hiking trails and stuff all over inside your house. You just walk through a portal. So cool. Bombada. Wrong one. Confringo. Lumos. Uh, this place has got several moonstones. How do I get up there? Clearly something up there. How do I get up there? Would I jump? Oh, there's a bridge. stuff okay clearly I can't climb that place. A little creepy, but cool. Okay. Trudge. Game invisible walls. Why is there a there go? Oh, no way I got up there. That was amazing. Uh, it let me get up right there, but I can't go anywhere else.
wondering what these two give me. This little hair. He's a haunting winged beast. I don't even see that. Though. Okay. Uh, how do I conjure? Reading pen. Beast feeder. Toy box. Whoa. Uh. Where to put you? Well. Uh, And go near the water, I guess. Maybe here. Stone bench, ornate bench, wooden bench, hive. Bush, 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 edge fence. Is this thing? Whoa. It's kind of cool. I don't know why would I have this, but whatever. I mean, it is dark out here, right? It's here to light my, my way in there. Okay, whatever. I think I need to be decorating outside. Just too much, you know? Too many things to do. Oh, these things all go outside too? That's what I was collecting? Uh, see, I don't know what the point would be other than just to be kind of decorative. I think it's just stuff to just kind of have fun with, I guess. Although, can you create like structures to. So then there's all these stairs and these ramps too that would lead up to that, right? Yeah, see? And clearly build up for some reason. Huh. 
build yourself a little castle, I guess, here. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I build myself a little castle. up top. For some reason. <laughs> I guess you could get a little creative with this somehow. Okay, whatever. Services. Kind of weird. I don't know why you would do this, other than just to have fun. The giggles and the laughs of it. Okay. Well, whatever. Deke, where's Deke? The hell is that? Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals, Deke? <laughs> Release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see oh. Deke when you're finished. Oh. Okay. Uh. I have to use the pen. Okay, she gonna have babies? She does not look good, guys. Okay, interesting. Oh, it opens up to go down there now? Like it closes? Weird. I started the process. Why am I... Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals? I already did that. Re release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I did, yo. My... the heck am I missing?
Breeding remaining. 28 minutes. It's gestating. Come on, Deke. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Whatever. I won't ask you for now. Oh, uh, unless he's saying when I'm done breeding it. That might be it. So I gotta wait the 20 min 28 minutes or whatever. <laughs> That's alright. That's all right. I think that is a good spot to um, stop the video. Um, what do we have on the horizon here? Talk to Natty. And get into the headmaster's house, uh, uh, office. So I think we'll do those two when we get back. So. I think it's a good stop, stopping point. Um, interesting. It's a lot of setup, I think, for what's to come in the next part of the story. Um, it's progressing. I think it's going good, man. So, I'll stop it here. Wherever you guys are in the world, um, let me know what you think. Drop a like, subscribe. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.